y'all, Grandma Rose here. I am so disappointed. I think you would be too. So let me turn the camera around and show you what's going on and you'll understand. Here we go. It's my peppers. Not all of my peppers, just my sweet peppers. Now I've mentioned before that I have a problem with a critter in my garden and that I have caught two rats. Actually, I've caught three rats. One of them was younger, almost a mouse, but bigger than a mouse. And let me show you where they're coming, where they're coming from. I'm pretty sure anyway. Can you see down there, right? Do you see that flashing down at the bottom of the house? Do you see that hole underneath it? I think they're underneath the house and, I'm, and are coming out from there. But let me show you this. I'm getting ready to reset my rat traps, but this pepper right here has been hurt in the past, but the leaves are coming back. You see that? And the same thing with that one right there. That's a mouse trap behind it that I've left here. It's not mice. That ma mouse trap didn't work. I should, while I'm, while I'm thinking about it, I might as well get this out of the way. There's no reason to leave it there. It didn't work. But now let me show you these. Right in there. Do you see that green stem in between the sticks? Well, that used to be a pepper. And do you see that stem right there? That used to be a pepper. Right here. Now these are balsam. I'll talk about that later. And maybe in another video. But this is a... So this is a pepper plant. And it's as tall as the second rung on this tomato cage. You know these tomato cages. You're familiar with these. So this plant was already as tall as the second rung in the cage. And look at this. Something came in here and chewed off the top of this. Same thing there. Get out of there. Same thing there. There. These are banana peppers. Another two right in there, along with the weeds. That's St. John's work, so I'm leaving that. At the same time, they got this New Zealand spinach. They, it, whatever. The other New Zealand spinach I have along here is looking okay. That one's okay. And that one's okay. But the peppers, there's one it didn't find. A little bitty one in here. I guess it was hiding behind all of these flowers. It's hiding behind all the flowers and isn't growing either. It needs to be more sun. There's one there that has a few leaves left on it. But unless I get rid of these rats, I'm not gonna have any, I'm not going to have any peppers, at least in this part of the garden. Now I've never grown peppers in this part of the garden before, and I thought it was a good spot. Because it's on the what well, it's on the east side of my house. So there's the east side of the house, and it's in the shade right now. This is afternoon, so it's in the shade. So they get good morning sun. It gets maybe five to six hours of sun, and then it's in the shade. Perfect place for peppers. Except for the rats. So what the heck am I gonna do besides traps? I don't want to do, do the sticky traps because I just think that's inhumane. So I'm doing rat traps. And I hate the idea that I've got rats underneath my house. That is just gross and repulsive. Cannot stand the idea. I just, over here, I see another spot. So there's, there's a dill. See down there? See, there's another spot that they can come out. And I don't know what to do here. I really don't know. I'm, I'm just going to have to keep putting out traps for them and continue to keep traps out for them and not think that I've gotten them all. 
is that's what happened. I had caught three, and I thought, well, I've got them. And I didn't put the traps back out again. And then last night, they attacked again. So here's my rat traps. I don't know if you've seen this kind of rat trap before. I've heard them. I've heard them called Tomcat traps. I think that's probably a brand brand name. Let me show you how they work. Okay, you see that hole right there? It's missing. Is a cartridge that goes down in there. So this one has it. comes out and you can put peanut butter or whatever in there and then put it back in here and screw it in. Then to set it, all you have to do is just push down there and do it hard and it'll it'll stay. So there's that cup right there. You can see I've had these have been outside and they've rusted, but they're, they're fine. Now the problem with these right here see there's no there's nothing to hold the food in there. I'm trying to figure out what to do because I need to have something to attract the the rats. Oh darn, I hate to even say that word. But that's what they are. They're not big. I mean they're not like big alley, you know, the kind that you see as big as a cat, but they're, they're still not mice. But anyway, I need to figure out something that I can put in there to hold the whole peanut butter, because that's what I'm going to, to bathe them with, is peanut butter. So I have four rat traps, and I will bathe them, and I'm going to put them outside tonight, and hopefully I will catch a critter. What I ended up doing, y'all, is I have some aluminum, is it HVAC tape? See right there. So there's a piece of tape and I just put some peanut butter on top of it. Now that one right there is the one that had the little cup. The same thing in there. And I have that facing toward where that opening is. And the same thing with this one. So, if something comes out of this hole right here, the ants have already found it. But if something comes out of this hole right here, it should it should see this. And maybe it'll think that peanut butter smells pretty good, and we'll try to have a taste of it. The same thing there. So you can see here, this is close to these two two peppers that are still living. And this one is kind of in the pathway of if something comes out of that hole over there. And I figure right in here, turn this right in here, that if it comes this way, then it's going to have to go one of these two ways, either to the left or to the right. And I've got traps. We'll see in the morning. I promise you right now that if I catch a rat and it's in that trap, I will not put a picture of it in there. I'm just not going to do that. I'm not going to put pictures of dead animals, even if they're rat, in my videos. I know you understand that. You don't want your children seeing that. And I hope this is child friendly. I do not want to do anything that would, that would traumatize a child. And seeing a dead rat caught in a trap might. So, we're ready. We're ready for the evening and we'll see what happens in the morning. I'll let you know. So bye y'all, see you next time.